Hi there. In our last section, you learned how to find the coplanarity of two lines. In this section, you are going to learn how to find the angle between two planes. So let's begin. Angle between two planes. At first, we are going to talk about the vector form of equation of a plane and we will find the angle between those two planes. So let's begin. Vector form. Let us consider two planes P1 and P2 has an equation vector r dot vector n1 is equal to d1 and vector r dot vector n2 is equal to d2 where n1 and n2 are the normal to the planes p1 and p2 and theta is the angle within the plane what i'm going to do i'm going to use this information and then i'm going to graph two planes so this is the graph of the plane so as you can see this green plane is my plane p1 and this red plane is my plane p2 these two planes are intersecting along the line l so as you can see the angle between plane p1 and p2 is angle theta then the angle theta between the normal of the plane is given as cosine theta is equal to absolute value vector n1 dot n2 over magnitude of vector n1 and magnitude of vector n2 and this cosine theta is angle between this plane p1 and plane p2 which is basically angle theta. Now let's find the angle between two planes using the Cartesian form of the equation. Cartesian form. Let us consider two planes p1 and p2 makes an angle theta with a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equal to 0 where a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 are the direction ratios of the normal of the plane then the angle theta between the planes is given as cosine theta is equal to absolute value or mod a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 over a square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square times a square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square if you remember we have done this kind of expression in our previous slide only difference is that that angle was between the two lines and this cosine theta is between two planes now let's talk about the two cases that we have for the angle between two planes case one so case one is if the planes are perpendicular then angle will be 90 degree and cosine 90 is zero because we know that cosine 90 is zero then a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to zero in other words if you substitute the value of direction ratios in this expression and that is equal to zero it simply means that the angle is 90 degree and the planes are perpendicular case 2 if the planes are parallel then theta is equals to 0 degree and cosine 0 is 1 so cosine theta will be 1 in that case a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2 is equal to c1 over c2 in other words if you have the direction ratios of two planes just find this ratio and if these ratios are the same then the angle between two planes is 0 degree and the planes are parallel